they moved into position at sunrise for the biggest salvage operation of its kind. On board last minute checks, sensors are mounted on the ship to relay information back to the operations room. Huge winches are pulling the ship upright. It's cost half a billion pounds so far to do this. Engineers are watching and measuring every inch of the way. Right now, the Costa Concordia is literally being prized off the rocks that it's embedded on. Those steel cables are rotating it around, pulling it upwards. The engineers say this is the most delicate phase of the operation. They know that the hull is going to warp and bend and twist. What they don't know is whether it might split open entirely. That would pollute the waters here. Inside the Costa Concordia, meals for 4,000 people are rotting away. The debris of a dream cruise floats by. They've tried to protect this important marine environment, moving large saltwater clams away from the wreck. The ship's oil was pumped out long ago. On shore, they came out to watch. This tiny island has been deeply affected by the disaster. Among those here, Luciano Castro, he was booked into cabin 1022. His belongings are still stuck inside. This is part of my life, of the lives of all the people who are on board. That's why I'm here, to see how it goes. So far, it's going well. The rust line shows how much the Costa Concordia has risen so far. The plan is for her to be upright by evening. It'll be next year before they can float her away. But that will not end the grief for the relatives of those who were killed on board this so-called dream cruise. 32 people died when the Costa Concordia took the wrong course and ran aground. Two of them have never been found.